I have almost $11 million on my Minecraft server, and today I'm going to spend it all to buy a super mansion and flip it to try to double my money. If you guys want to know how we got to $11 million, stick around because I'm going to walk you through what happened after we buy our base. All right, guys, after 30 minutes of searching just to prove we don't fake this, here's a five second montage of how long it actually took to find this. Yeah, I mean, I legit just spam in chat until I get there. We found a base that's kind of ugly. I am going to pay $900,000 to buy this base. And you're going to think, Zach, that is a horrible deal. You don't make money from an already good looking base. You make money by buying a cheap, nasty, dilapidated base and then transforming it. And I see a huge amount of potential here. Plus, it's got a couple secrets that I don't think this dude realized. Now, over the last five days, guys, my money has been coming from this casino, which might be the best investment we've ever made. Players can come in. Again, if you guys don't remember, they can buy these sticks for $100 thousand dollars and because of the redstone circuitry whatever they buy automatically spits out a random item from inside of here now originally each one of these stacks of dirt was at 64 we have sold about three million dollars for people winning we got to restock this with some really big prizes that way people can come and win so let's go buy some cool prizes which is going to be kind of expensive here we go three hundred seventy five thousand dollar helmet guys these are expensive items but we don't want to scam people that's the last thing we want to do i can load this hopper up with a an item and as you know that item's going to go into here and now a player has a chance to win a 100 or $800,000 item. And then once they win that, this $400,000 helmet falls through. So now we've got a huge opportunity for about 30 games worth of time before we need to restock it again. I'm going to go through and restock all of these right now. Check it out on screen. These are the items in every single zone. And of course, we got to check our creeper farm. As you guys know, players are able to visit my land and they can come here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. We are making some bank today, my friends. Over the weekend, we have come up with about a full inventory of more gunpowder, which means let's pop it in here. We're almost up to three entire chests of gunpowder, and I've almost collected none of it. So I think you guys see the benefit of moving the creeper farm from my base to its new location. Based right next to the Arctic land, this beautiful five or seven story mansion has a random assortment of blocks on the outside. But what I bought it for was not because of this nor was it this ugly fountain. It was actually this. Underneath the base, I don't, I don't think most people realize this, there is like a massive pre-made secret underground room that honestly, the amount of time this would have taken to just carve out is worth the price to me. You go up these stairs, this brings you up into the main foyer right here, which is complete with a beautiful 25-story fountain or something. I, I don't really know what, what that's about. And then a chest room, which appears to have been sold to me with items still in it. Does he realize he sold me all his items? It's like, I don't, he ain't DMing. I think he just legit sold me everything okay well we got to see what's inside those chests in a second he's a big shroom like guy i can see for our sake we'll just pop some more of these down i mean it doesn't matter at this point they're just everywhere anyway pro tip put the lights under the chest makes the chest glow keeps it out of the way a little bit less in your face type thing i think it looks a little better like that so now you can see the chest a little bit more easy all right yeah so most of this stuff is empty and i gotta realize that i do need to sell this for a lot of money which means the amount of work it is actually going to require to do is high why does it seem like it's been night for 25 days like it's just never going to turn to daytime first thing i'm going to do though is work on that front entrance and clean this thing up so with the work of editing. All right, I swapped back to the Loverfella account for now because like no one's here and I might as well use my own account because it's a little bit more accurate with the numbers and stuff. Let's go ahead and redo this front entrance right here. So actually, I kind of like that path there, but then everything in front of it is just hideous. You got random pieces of shroom light. I mean, I don't think this, I don't even think it knows what it's doing by it. I mean, this base doesn't know what it's trying to be. All right, so we're breaking that up. You can look over here and see there's literally a actual lava waterfall inside the bay. I mean, it's just like, you gotta ask questions what the thought process was when designing it. The secret entrance right here is pretty cool the way it like backs the stairs up. I mean, that's, it's pretty well made. I think it's cool. The only problem is you can kind of see the, the stuff there. So we'll clean that up. Already looks so much better. Look at that. Now you actually have a path to get in here. We're going to have to like extend it out a little bit more, put some staircases, uh, make this thing even, but at least it kind of like looks a little bit more realistic now, I guess. I actually feel like this might come out kind of clean. Like I'm not going to lie to you, given what we started with and where we're at, there's like some real potential. There you go. So front entrance, uh, looking a lot cleaner. We, uh, this little thing right here, I don't know what, how did someone make it this uneven? I mean, when you look at this, how is it even possible to have created this? This is not even even with this, which is not even with this. What in the world? What kind of person? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm actually at a loss of words. I kind of feel bad because one of the reasons I bought this place was because of the redstone door. And unfortunately, now that it's actually daytime, I can see that that was the most uneven and, and really just- It wasn't it. Let's go ahead and go to our shop, guys. We can press slash shop. We can buy materials just like a contractor would. Costs a little bit of money, but it's kind of worth it for our case. Maybe two stacks of 64 of this. Make some stairs. And then what we're gonna do is extend this staircase all the way down. 
No one has to know what's under there. I really feel like this kid scammed me. I'm not going to lie to you. But this is what we've done. So the whole front entrance, if you remember, looked like this before. And now what we've done is redesign the entire thing. Give it a nice highlight on the outside with quartz. Centered it. Uh, you know, it's just it's a much more flowy entrance. And obviously these I will move, but I really don't want to fill my inventory. I'll, I'll just deal with that later. So those will, those will be removed later. We got to get some lighting on here. Got to make it a little more welcoming. Maybe we'll just do something. Oops. <laughs> something as simple as that. Put a fence post right there. And the pink and white just is such a clean color combo. That is absolute fire. We'll put it just like this on the sides. I mean, it's going to just pull it together. Is, is it not satisfying to go through and just make these little micro tweaks that, that really add value? Like, say that what I did right here. I mean, that had to have added an immense amount of value already. Now, right in the center, what I'd like to do is give it just a nice little friendly, just a very friendly welcoming entrance with a little bit of this. Okay, so it might look a little bit different. That's because I just changed my shaders. I felt like the other shaders made it too yellow. So I, I think it looks a little bit better like this with the white color. This dude... Oh, right. He realizes it's me. That's right. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't need to give me your... Can people do that in real life? If you see me, just like throw me your... Like, yo, is this Zach? Let me throw me my wallet. No, you don't need to do that, my friend. But yes, front entrance, much better. We do got to tackle this, though. I don't even know how to get started. I mean, honestly, that, that just... Whole thing's got to go. All right, I cleared out that entire fountain. It took me a little bit of time, and my inventory is actually full of random items I picked up, but I think it looks a lot better. So take a look. Uh, it's not quite perfect. You got this little thing, and I didn't even go on the ground to get it. It's better. All right, it's better than it was. That's all I can say. It looks a little bit better than it was. Now we've got the front entrance looking clean. This is becoming a base that's worth about half of what I paid for it at this point. Definitely still not there. That's for sure. Given the amount of time it took just to redesign the entrance, I'm realizing how big of a project this is. So I have enough money that I wonder if I can hire my brothers to come help me out. Like if I pay them some money, we would invest a lot, but I've never put that much money into a single build to flip. Mr. Ben, I have a proposition for you today. I bought this base for $800,000, which probably was like a lot more than it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, look, I, I thought I saw it as a, as a fixer upper. Came with the chest loaded too. Yeah, it's big. It's got a lot of potential and I want to see how much money I could actually flip a base like this for. So I could pay you or give you a percentage of the final sale. If I give you the percentage of the final sale, you got to go in with me on the buy. I paid 800K for it. You paid 800K and I would like a percentage of the sale. Now to counter your offer, what if I give you my custom raining soap brewery for free? Oh, oh. Ben's throwing out a wild deal here today. Ben, why don't you show me that real quick? It's uh, it's honestly a pretty decent build. And the best part is, I'm pretty sure it's located next to the Slug Noodles, which did recently hatch, by the way, on May 1st. You might see a couple around. I'll do it for 17% uh, of the final sale. See, we're going to have to go at least 30. That is a lot. We're talking potentially 300K. Yeah, no, we definitely are. And I was going to sell this to you for 500. So 30%. 20 and you got a deal. 29. 25 final offer. 27. 25. Flick the lever at 26. 26 of this. Sounds like you need my help today, Zach. I would like a 25% stake in today's sale for a, you can basically connect this to your rich person area and advertise this. What is it, a jail? It's a giant <laughs> swimming pool, but it's private. You can't let the poor people in. You trying to get me to pay 500K for that. Isaac's giving me this pool. Ben's giving me that. And they both get 25% of the final sale. No investment on them. That is a no, deal. You're, 20, 20. No, you're not getting the pool, Zach. You're getting a plot of land in the middle right here for a shop. Well, I don't want that. It's like six blocks, Isaac. No, this it's tiny. literally took, this took four hours of actual digging. So we won't be doing it for anything less than 30%. I mean, it's just such a bad deal. I can't even, I can't even play along with it. I mean, this, this is not it. Borderline, the worst I've seen. I'm going to walk. I can't do it. This looks like a jail cell with water. All right, guys, I'm after a terrible negotiation by my boy, Isaac, who has no money. Uh, I did manage to get Ben to help for a good little stake here. So we're going to work on this together and try to make this like the biggest sale that has happened in trade-up history. So it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a tough journey. Look at that. Look at this window. This like this man literally griefed his own base. There's actual holes in the wall. That is someone designed this and thought it was good. I'm just pointing that out. It's very odd. Windows really up the property value. I've learned the big entrance actually is something that I quite like uh, quite a lot. Oh, yeah. Goodness. All right, so um, open up the window here. It looks pretty good. Um, I really just don't know what's trying to happen up here. I feel like it's just, just, it's a confused base. There's a lot of good and a lot of confusion to it. Like this is so uneven. I don't see how we could keep this. I'm gonna get rid of it. I, I hate to say it, but it's gotta go. Oh, wait a minute. It takes you up. There's actually an entire... Wow, I didn't even not even realize this floor was up here. <laughs> oh, of course, it is uneven, but there's an entire like rooftop floor. I didn't even know existed. Look at this. He really just kind of did his own thing, to be honest. It's like it was made for a flip, though, you know? Don't you see the potential here? Like, you would just break a couple blocks, put some windows in, clean it up, add some utility. Like, it doesn't take much, I think, to put this on the market again. So basically, the initial design here, guys, we're just rebuilding the structure a little bit, fixing all the random issues, getting rid of all the green wool, adding some nice windows in here. This prepares it for the actual 
utility, which is where we secure that multimillionaire to come buy this. Okay, I really don't want to break all that green wool, but like, I feel like I need to. Like, I can't walk away with it there. So, hey, here comes a green wool breaking montage, folks. Let's get to it. It's almost artistically placed as if this was done somehow. How do I make a floating scaffolding? Yo, guys, look at that. We broke it. Now to me, that looks a lot better. The, the, the rods up there maybe could be cleaned up a little bit, but honestly, it looks a lot better. I think there's still a lot to do. The windows are messed up. The outside's messed up. But for now, let's go back downstairs because we need to fix uh, this creation. By getting rid of the entire thing. Man, I wish Isaac like didn't throw me a bad deal. It'd be great to have his help. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what the main floor looks like. Got rid of the fountain, redid the entire entrance. It looks honestly not too shabby. That window needs to go. The random green wool needs to go. But let's take a look at what our partner down here, Ben, is doing. Oh, wow, this is wild. It's honestly quite interesting. So the idea is that villagers will go in each of these slots and whoever buys this place can do it, mm -hmm. trade the villagers, and for some reason, Players like to do these tables, which I guess sell for a lot. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Do you want to swap now? I'll work down here a little bit. You go back up to the main floor just to keep it fresh. Yep. Oh, yo, there's a secret chest down here, which actually contains uh, two runes. One of them super jump. And it's got a couple luck of the sea books, a couple diamonds. I mean, this dude literally just sold me his base, like as is, as if he committed a crime and had to get rid of the evidence. That's what I'm wondering. Like, what did this guy do? He was hacking or something because he said, I'm out. He has a secret cage room underneath a staircase. Like, why does this exist? Something sus is going on with this dude's base. I really do like the color pattern down here to be honest with you i think the blue and white looks good like i feel like the basements you know it's not bad it's not good wow i mean it's actually kind of clean so i'm gonna redesign every one of these pillars i like the look and the, the vibe but i think the color pattern is just a little bit off like if i replace these with warp stems and then do that i think it's actually gonna look a little bit better contrast the white more that is not too bad i don't love it yet there's still more to do i think it's the stream lights actually which sucks because they're forever to break I do like this though. It's very unique. Right, that was a good idea, guys. Switching up what we're working on is good because I got like re-inspired and I was like, yo, there's like 50 billion things I can do now downstairs. Each thing that we do basically increases the value by a thousand dollars. Like boom, thousand bucks made. Boom, thousand bucks made. I mean, it just keeps coming. That is actually really cool, I think. All right, I am happy with this. So what I did is I put some highlight lights up in, uh, that was a weird word, but I put some lights up here in the corner, redid the entire design on the side, which really pulls it together more, redid the path in the center. So now you've got honestly like just this beautiful, I don't know how else to say it, but just super unique runway design as you walk through it. I mean, I think it looks phenomenal. Oh, wait, did you put villagers down here or were there already some? There's like four. There are already there. some, yeah, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Comes pre-stocked with villagers. Okay, I want to make this room a little bit more uh, bold, a little bit more uh, inviting. So maybe if we extended a path in here, it might be kind Kind of a cool feature i'm not sure how but maybe a little something like this just to break it up a little bit don't be afraid guys don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone pull out a little bit of warped all right don't be afraid it doesn't look bad all right it's a good vibe people will get it they'll be like yo good vibe dude so what we're gonna do is give them a couple of like little neat chests down here something like this like put them up on like a little bit of a pedestal type thing i don't know what's gonna go in here but somehow his best items or something would like be in this little cage just to say hey this is where the big boys go and then we could give it a little bit of a i don't know i kind of like it just like that we don't need to do too much to it i think it just looks cool Clean. Like, I feel like if you have like a trading room, you want like a good amount of storage to store your items you're going to trade with, right? It, it needs to be like a good, a good utility to it. So what I'm going to do now is there's like this nice little area above the villagers. And so if I put slabs on top to make a so couple of them like actual blocks, we can basically use every one of these as some sort of like a utility. You know, we could put like furnaces up there and just like random stuff, to be honest with you, like maybe another crafting table down here. Gotta pre-set them up with some item frames. Can't make them go look for their own. That'd be a little bit too much work, you know? That's not for rich people. Rich people ain't gonna be doing that. All right, so that's what we've done. I put a whole bunch of crafting tables, furnaces, smith, uh, just all kinds of stuff up there. Try to keep the color theme pretty consistent. I actually really like that design. We do have a bed as well, which, uh, I mean, I don't know. He's got this like little dungeon back here. Might as well make this the bedroom. Seems like appropriate. <laughs> all right, we're gonna make it a very simple bedroom here. What I'll do is just put in some little seating, some nice lights, like a cool little light piece right in the corner there. It's obviously like a little bit of a Harry Potter style room but i mean at the end of the day it gets the job done when you got a base this big do you really need a big bedroom put a little maybe a little fried chicken above bed for beautiful dreams about chickens you know a little something like that is exciting come on down so i redesigned the entire walkway so if you look every one of the pillars is different the ceiling has a new pattern the lighting situation is different added some detail in here put some chests down you know just some stuff above there to use crafting yep. tables chests what goes here though what do you think i kind of like the armor like armor stands on these Ooh. that'd be cool Let's see what you've been up to yeah come on up here the goal was to minimize 
maximize the space, so we added. Oh! That's actually kind of nice. I like that. Wow, I, oh my gosh. This is actually so artistic looking. Like, this looks legit. Like, you made like a stage here, massive water pillars. Like, these are really cool. I mean, we are making this thing look good. All right, all right, all right. That's pretty fire. I was thinking too right here, maybe like a window downstairs. Like, if we took this or maybe even made this like a little exit outside, you know what I mean? A little bit of something like that. We can replace this really quick with like some, uh, you know, just some wood or something that looks good. How about that? So now you got a little window down here. You can walk in and just enjoy the view outside. It's uh, not a great view, but you can enjoy it now. What is this? Water elevator. Gets you up and down. Mm. All right, you're working on that. I'm going to clean out the outside because this is where we basically need to hide a lot of the outside. We can't let people see how bad this thing actually looks. So I'm going to like get a bunch of trees and just see if I can plant some stuff here to make it not look horrible. What is something like this? Literally, let's get trees everywhere we can. These things will grow up and give it like a much more private look and hopefully hide most of the front of the base. So you can tell, like, yo, hey, this is big. The inside looks great, but uh, there ain't no way we can clean this outside up. It would take 16 years covering up this disaster outside. It's like a hurricane had hit this place and it's, it ain't easy. These are the details right here the potential buyers look for and see. They say, hey, you took that 10 minutes through the landscaping. You probably know what you're doing. I think it looks good. Might be a little too much, but uh, remember, we are hiding uh, one of the worst exteriors of a base ever, and this is all part of the process. Get your rare purple flower in there, all right, and that just kind of looks okay. Now, this is what it looks like from the front. Again, the outside is just horrible. I don't know how we will make that more marketable. Wouldn't be a fancy base without a fancy carpet pattern. So these black carpet patterns represent stealth bombers and they will see this and realize they too are a stealth bomber. So that's that's the inspiration here, a little bit of a stealth bomber package. Really just designed to inspire. Uh, what's marketing tactic? I don't know, uh, but I think it looks kind of cool. You know, given what we had to work with, I am really happy with where we're getting to. Flower pots all the way around the side looks great. Enchanting zone over here is coming together nicely. This upstairs really came together in a big way. That little piece of stone there is killing me, but I'm just not. It's just gonna stay, I think, for now. There's one more window and then this again will be another. So then we have like full windows on every single side. And this view is actually phenomenal right here. Uh, bamboo forest there, got a lot of ice and glaciers. It does look a little bit juicy. You can like see all the flowers we planted. I mean, that's a really smart play right there. I like this. So now this whole back wall has been opened up and you can see like full 360 walls on every single side of glass. The bubble elevator is just magnificent. Look how like just, look, that thing is an art piece right there. I love the way it just fades up. The walls on all sides and the windows look good. Um, it, it just has like a pretty nice luxury vibe to it at this point. I think the last thing then is let's clean up the outside a little bit more. See what else we can do to just yeah. get that final little bit of detail to pull this thing together. Wow, this is ugly out front, isn't it? I know. But what what can we do? Nothing. It's impossible. <laughs> I mean, it's just like such a bad front entry. I mean, there's literally so bad. I just feel like that is going to hold some people back from buying this beast. Do you have any ideas? I think at this point, we just got to hope. Okay. I think you're right. All right, guys, I'm going to get this on the market with my alt account. Let's see if we can get this thing sold. All right, guys, I said selling mansion $2 million. I think that's a good price to start with. See what happens. Uh, definitely not feeling optimistic. The outside might've been a little bit of a mistake. All right, guys, I lied to him. I told him free keys, first 100 only. And now I'm going to show him the base. Come take a look, gentlemen. See if you want to buy it. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. They're looking around. They're definitely browsing. Alpha Wolf's looking around every single corner, but just completely blatantly ignoring every word that I say right now to the point where I don't even know if their DMs are on. Alpha Wolf, you are investigating it. Uh, let me send you another message. Interested in getting this? You king you? Woo them. Love the skin by the way, looks so good on you, but not as good as this base would with you in it. He said, I don't fall for sweet talking, but he answered. He's looking, he's really thinking. And the problem is he's standing outside while thinking. And I feel like that right there is the issue that he's, he's observing the outside. I think it would be the smartest investment of your life. There it is for 1.8 million. That's a price I can settle on. My man has bought this base. Ben, your profit technically $468,000. After all is said and done and expenses are paid, we are up to $10.5 million. We have a lot of money to play with to upgrade our Loverfella Mall. I don't know if you know this, but my Minecraft server in the past week has raised over $30,000 for ocean wildlife conservation efforts. If you guys want to join the server, have some fun and make some real differences in the world, play.loverfella.com is the address and I would love to have you here guys.